tutorial, I'm going to run through the frequently asked questions that come in regarding the Knit Companion app. And these are questions, um, I worked with Knit Companion, and so these are questions that I see both on my YouTube channel here and that they get directly to Knit Companion. And so we wanted to cover those because it's kind of the same questions over and over again. And this video is focused on the Android platform. The next video coming out will be on Apple um, because some of the things are specific to the platforms. Um, if you're new to Knit Companion, it is a game changer. It is an awesome way to interact with your patterns. Uh, just go to either the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store and look for Knit Companion, one word. It's uh, a way to interact with your patterns, all kinds of ways. Um, but mostly it's an easy way to keep track of where you are, whether you're using written instructions or charts or whatever. In fact, I'll give you a link here to um, the Knit Companion playlist, because if you're new, you'll probably want to start with video one. Don't start in the middle. Start with video one. And the questions that we're going to answer here are the ones that come up all the time. Um, first and foremost, I am going to cover how to get patterns into Knit Companion, whether it's um, through Ravelry, Dropbox, a PDF that you got from another website, or whether it's from a magazine or a book or something that's printed all the ways to get your patterns into Knit Companion, because you can do it. Um, so we're gonna take most time covering all the ways to do that. We're also going to talk about syncing projects and getting help and using um, Knit Companion on your desktop or laptop. And so, uh, well, first of all, let's just go ahead and get started with getting patterns into Knit Companion. Okay, here I am on my Android device, ready to get started with Knit Companion. Open it up. And the first thing I see here are the projects that I have locally, meaning on this device, right? And so the easiest way to get patterns into Knit Companion is through Ravelry. And I want to point out something else. And I printed out this um, page from some, uh, a pattern purchase. And this is what your download email looks like when you buy a pattern through Ravelry or when someone uses the Ravelry shopping cart on their website like I do. Now this person purchased a pattern through my website, but they were not logged into Ravelry at the time. So you get these two options. Normally you would just get download your pattern file if you were logged onto Ravelry or if you purchased directly through Ravelry. But this time you get the option of add to your Ravelry library. And you can do both, of course, <clears throat> but if you add it to your Ravelry library, that is a way of not being confused about where your patterns are because it's just convenient to have everything in your Ravelry library and accessible to you that way, whether you're using it in a companion or just downloading it to print it or something. So just be aware when you get a download email that if you're seeing these two options, be sure to click this one too, just for ease of use, right? Okay, so let's talk about getting patterns from Ravelry. You have these options up here, local, Ravelry, and Dropbox. You tap Ravelry, and if you're not logged into Ravelry, it will prompt you to log in, and all of your Ravelry patterns will show up <laughs> in there. It's pretty awesome. If you have a lot like I do, you might wanna search by title or author. And <clears throat> the easiest way to get a pattern into Knit Companion is to tap it, you see it working, and then PDF successfully downloaded. Now when I go to local here on this device, that pattern is in there and boom, I'm ready to start the project. So that's really easy. Another really easy way is through Dropbox. And we can, this is the option up here. We can imagine that like you've purchased a pattern through a website that uses its own shopping cart, not the Ravelry shopping cart. So the pattern's not going to appear in your Ravelry library, but you have it on your desktop or your laptop. You can just click and drag it to Dropbox and you can get a free Dropbox account um, unless you have a whole bunch of stuff on there, it's free. And when you tap Dropbox, it will prompt you to log in if you're not logged in already. And very importantly, over here, it says projects, PDFs. You wanna tap PDF if you're trying to get a PDF in there. And here are the files I have. Um, and I'll go ahead and I think this is already in there though. It's working, maybe it's having a hard time because the pattern's actually already in there. 
anyway, it works just like Ravelry to get a pattern into, um, into uh, Knit Companion. Oh, it did it. So when I go to local, this pattern is in there and I'm ready to start the project. Easy, easy, easy. So those are ways to get um, patterns into Knit Companion if it's already a PDF. And there's another way using Google Drive, but I'm gonna demonstrate that kind of with another thing here. So I have this old magazine um, from 2008 that has a pretty cute sweater pattern in it. Kind of stood the test of time. And I want to get this into Knit Companion so I can knit it. And this is how we're going to do this on Android. I'm going to first close out of Knit Companion there, and I'm going to open Google Drive. Okay, and here's my Google Drive. And you can see I have a picture of my puppy when she was a baby with the breeder. I'm going to tap the plus button over here and select scan. Okay, it's reorient, reorienting, and you're not going to be able to see me do this very well because it's taking up, I have to get way far away. I'm just centering the pattern page with the camera and taking a picture, although it's officially a scan. You can see what I did here. And I'll say, okay. And now, um, well, actually, let me fix this first because this happened to me a couple of times. I'm gonna tap the crop button because for some reason, I'll, I'll reorient this so you can watch this. For some reason, uh, Google Drive thought that I just wanted the picture. Well, I, I don't, I want the whole page. Thank you very much. So I hit the crop button, not to crop it, but to uncrop it. So I did that and I can select done. And then down here, because this pattern's two pages, there's a little plus button. I'm going to select that and do the second page. Whoops, you probably don't want to see that. Let me do it this way. I'm going to center the page on there pretty good. Okay, I got the second page. And there's no cropping on this one, so I'll just select OK and save. And whoops, I am messing with the orientation here a lot. What was this sweater called? I think it's called like Merino Cables or something. I meant to <laughs> remember the name. So I'm naming it and I'm going to say save. One, your one file is being uploaded to Google Drive. And if I pull down the notifications, it's still uploading that. I wonder why it's taking so long. Usually it's pretty instant. No big deal. I'm kind of further away. Okay, it's done. Um, now when I drag down in Google Drive, it will refresh. I wonder if it's because I'm further away from the router over here than where I normally work. There we go. Okay, there's the PDF, and it's not showing me a preview. There we go. If I tap the three dots and pull up this menu, there's the option for open with. This is the magic right here, okay? Open with, and it gives me the option of Knit Companion. Look at that. And now I have, I don't know why everything's working so slowly all of a sudden. Now I have the option of working on this in Knit Companion. Oh, come on. Oh no, it's there. And this was called Merino's Cable. There it is. <laughs> okay. I was worried that um, I was getting impatient with it being slow and then it wasn't going to work. So I could have done a better job on the photos, but the pattern is here and I can start the project. Both pages of it are in here and I can start the project, which is an easy way to get something from a book into um, a book or a magazine or a printed pattern into Knit Companion, but do a better job at taking pictures when you're doing it. 
So that was the big one. That was the big way of getting in. This is also what I just demonstrated is the way that you can get something in from Google Drive, right? So if this was a PDF that I just clicked and dragged into Google Drive and I didn't just scan it in there, I could do the same thing, tapping the three dots and saying, uh, where is it? Open with. And then it'll give me the option for Knit Companion there. So either scanning it in or clicking and dragging it in from your desktop or your laptop or whatever. Um, okay, syncing projects with Dropbox. Back in here. So I just showed you how to do a PDF in Dropbox, but let's say that you are working on a pattern. You're working on this pattern and um, you have things just the way you want it. You're, your highlighter bar is marking exactly where you are and you've done you know, all the different customizations to get it exactly where you want it. And now you're going on a, a road trip and you wanna be able to use Knit Companion from your phone instead. So you can do this. <clears throat> you can tap the three dots on the, the projects page. Make sure you're on the projects page. And then when you tap the, it looks like, oops, almost like a face but it's a cloud with a, an arrow up, and that will save your project the way that you have it to Dropbox. And then when you um, open Dropbox, or when you open Knit Companion on your phone, and you go to Dropbox, and you look at the projects. Remember before we tapped PDFs? This time it's going to be projects. And you will see, here it is, the pattern exactly the way it was. I can open this on any device to have it set up just the way I want it. I think that's all that I'm going to show you here on this part. Yes, it is. Okay, that's that part of the FAQ, the Frequently Asked Questions, and now we're going to cover a couple of them that I'll just talk to you. You can look at my face while I talk to you. Um, first of all is getting help, because there are a ton of resources to get help if you have a question on Knit Companion or if you just want to learn more. Like I said, I have a whole series of videos out. I'm working very closely with Knit Companion to make sure that we get the right information to you in the right order, which they've been a huge help with that. And, but, but there are other things as well, and I'm going to read this because I don't want to miss any of it. Um, on the Knit Companion website, knitcompanion.com, there is a website intro tour as well as <clears throat> my videos are all available there. There is an FAQ section um, for fre frequently asked questions, of course. There is a tutorial section. And then something that I've found really useful are the guides. There are two uh, PDF guides. Um, one is a quick guide, one is a full user guide. So, you know, the quick guide, I can just open up real quick like, oh yeah, you know, I want to remember something about keys, you know, something I know exactly what I'm looking for, it's there. But then there's a full user guide, kind of like an owner's manual to your knit companion, and that's all there too. And I'll link to all this stuff in the video description field, also on my website. Um, also, you can contact Knit Companion directly if you have a question at support at knitcompanion.com, and that way you'll get one-on-one -on -one help. But chances are, I mean, the, the same questions do come up all the time, um, so chances are the, the questions that you have are going to be answered in the FAQ section. Okay, one last thing is Knit Companion is primarily for, or it is for touch screen devices. You know, you've seen in all these videos that I'm using this on, on a tablet, but you can use it on a phone or um, any touch screen device. There is an, uh, there is an app or a website where you can, um, use Google Play apps on your desktop or laptop, on your PC. And that is called bluestacks.com, the color bluestacks.com, and I'll put a link in the video description field. Um, this isn't something that I've used, and, I, and if it's something that you want to use, you'll need to um, look at Bluestacks and see how that program works, because it isn't specific to Knit Companion in any way. It, it turns any Google Play app into something that you can use on your desktop. So bluestacks.com, that's the way to do it. I am happy using these on my, uh, my tablets for sure because I want it to fit in my knitting bag. Anyway, that is the end of the Android Frequently Asked Questions video. And in a few weeks, um, which is going to be February 2021, 
uh, will have these same questions answered for Apple. I hope that helps. Good luck.